just okay should, should you guys have been cooperating with the feds at all i mean they they torture people where well, they're cashing out crypto we're buying a lot local dot bitcoin dot com is your spot How are you? Uh, can I speak to Sheriff Elder? Sheriff Elder? Okay. Uh, he's in a meeting currently. Can I get your name, please? Yeah, it's Dave Ridley, R-I-D-L-E-Y. Did you have an appointment scheduled with him? No. I'm with uh, RidleyReport.com. It's like a poor man's TV station. Actually, meanwhile, could I speak to your PR person? Uh, give me just a second to try to find some. All right, thanks. Hi. Hi, you were asking you me doing? with the sheriff? That's correct. Um, he is in a meeting. I just yeah. brought those guys up, and so he's got about, um, probably going to be about an hour, hour okay. and a half or so. Is there anything in particular that... Yeah, any PR person can answer my questions, or at least face them. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, first of all, what the status is regarding these uh, these uh, immigrants that you guys are allegedly detaining uh, for ICE. We don't have are any they still detainees. So they, have they, they were here before but have been released? Um, well, there, there aren't any people. We don't have any contract with ICE, as you know from what's in the paper. We don't have any current ICE detainees at all. But you had some before. How recently? Um, that was under the 457 um, G program, and that ended in 2017, 16. Do you know when the last the last detainee was released? No. Okay. Yeah. Should should you guys have been cooperating with the feds at all? I mean, they they torture people. We we cannot have. Um, we don't have, and there's legislation that occurred this year that prohibits any kind of collaboration with the federal government having to do with um, illegal immigrants and detainees. But you did it until you were forbidden by law, correct? Um, that was until we had to cease the contract. We ceased the contract with 457G. Um, we're still con we were uh, at that time still under a contract, but now we are underneath a court ruling that doesn't allow us to have any detainees. And that occurred, it's been about a year. Okay. Um, what is the the percentage of the, of the people that you have detained in your facility? Uh, what is the percentage of those that, is, that would arguably be victimless criminals? I, I, I couldn't tell you that. I don't know those percentages. But you do arrest people for possessing drugs. You not arrest necessarily, but you do hold people for possessing drugs, correct? Um, well, there was new legislation this last year which takes effect, um, I believe in January that has, uh, there are basically no felonies for drug possession. Um, so it, it moved it all to misdemeanor charges. So if they are in possession of more than four ounces of a controlled substance with the exception of GHB, which is a date rape drug. Um, they can be arrested, but it's usually um, on a misdemeanor summons, so we don't hold misdemeanors in our jail. They're, they're served and released. They're then required to go to their court date, um, and they are referred to a treatment program that would help them with their substance abuse. Who wants strict know-your-customer requirements, high Bitcoin, BTC fees, or hidden costs? There's a better way to turn your crypto into fiat and vice versa. Local.bitcoin.com Their private peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin Cash marketplace accepts any kind of mainstream payment service. They've also got a referral program. Get your link set up today. Whether they're cashing out crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin.com is your spot.